we don't have the strength to use this. It's still doing pretty good damage. There is a bit of a wind-up, it seems, but it certainly looks cool. Yeah, so that's interesting that it hits with the left weapon first, because it, it staggers the enemy, so it's actually kind of practical. Hi guys, so this is a video I had been thinking about doing for the past month or two, but what prompted me to finally get this done is the Dark Souls 3 DLCs are on sale now for 50% off at Humble Bundle. It's going to vary from country to country probably, but in the US it's normally $25, now it's only $12.50 for the DLCs. Base game's also on sale for 50% off. Also, Scholar for Sin, Dark Souls 2, Scholar for the Sin, that's on sale for $10 at Humble Bundle, so. Now the other reasons, the initial reasons why I wanted to do this. So yeah, my characters have been hollow, and the last couple episodes I've uploaded going around in a set of rags, more or less. You're actually less covered up with this set than being naked. Or you see more skin, I think. So, I want to show some of the fashion souls. I So I showed the one at the beginning, and there's another one I like. It's pretty well covered up, and I know with the gear I was using, I was, I was under 50%. Now the third reason I want to do this, I've been playing the game more or less blind. I looked up a few game mechanics. Oh yeah, I was curious if I could buff this. No, I guess you can't buff this weapon. Oh yeah, so I've been playing the game mostly blind, but I have watched the beginning parts of some playthroughs and I, yeah, I saw the moveset of, uh, don't want to get too close to her, but yeah, the moveset of her, this weapon, it's like, very cool. Okay, so I wanted to test out, just play around with it, because I've been spread pretty thin in terms of stats, so I'd, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the strength, at least for this character. Maybe New Game Plus, I'll consider it. I don't know if I want to say too much about what I'm doing with this character, just because it might be a spoiler to people watching the playthrough. As far as what I have public right now, it's around 32 or 33 episodes. Oh yeah, the Humble Bundle sale. I don't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning, but it's up until around the 25th of May. I think it's actually in the morning, like 9 a.m. Pacific, or at, which would be around 12 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. GMT, so... Okay, so I noticed that it, it looked like I hit them with the... Yes, yeah, so I don't... It looks like I'm hitting them with the left weapon and the right weapon. Maybe that's why I'm doing so much damage. But this is... Oh yeah, part of the boost was just from being at full health, it looks like. Okay, well, it's, um, if you get hit, there is a bit of a wind-up, it seems, but it certainly looks cool. I just don't, I don't know how practical it is to get off the full combo. Alright, let's take out the big guys. Let's see if we'll do any better there. Yeah, this is just, I was just going to do this for a short amount of time, but, I mean, we might be able to just, like, break their guard. Okay, it does have a different roll attack. Yeah, so that's interesting that it hits with the left weapon first, because it it staggers the enemy, so it's actually kind of practical. Now that one I missed with the, the left hand weapon. We don't, want, we don't get too overconfident. But yeah, like we don't have the strength to use this, and it's still doing pretty good damage. Okay, well, we at least got the combo off without getting hit, but...
Yeah, it likes. So it is. It is cool that it staggers them with the left hand weapon. And, and yeah, I know I'm just like brute forcing it. This is just a fun little thing to mess around with. die to this guy. Well, we died. Oh yeah, the other thing is, I think I can go human in terms of appearance if I pray to the, the Velka thing. So I might go do that. Oh yeah, and the tattoo, the, the face tattoo, it, I don't know why, for some reason it moved. Some weird glitch. So I might do that. Oh yeah, the, the other thing about the DLCs, is I bought them, which I was waiting for a good sale and this was it. So I don't want any spoilers, but I actually want to make sure I avoid the DLC. It's probably going to be obvious, but without spoiling any of the upcoming areas, if there's a way to let me know how... if the, Is it clear that I'll be in the DLC? I mean, I think the ashes of Aryan Doll... I don't, I don't remember the word, but... I think that was like in a snow area or something like that, and I don't know about the Ring City. My guess is it'll be obvious, but if there's a way to tell me how to how I'll know I'll be in the DLC without spoiling anything, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. Come on. Oh wow, that was. Oh, are you fucking kidding me?